What's up gamers, Mass Gamer here today to bring you another weapon review. We are going to start out with the Ump 45. Today we're going to go ahead and give you a spray comparison, hip fire and aiming down the sight so you can get an idea of what the spray looks like and uh, what to expect as far as the accuracy goes. Ump is a fairly accurate weapon as you can see, uh, mostly center mass, it does have a little bit of an upward kick but uh, overall very, uh, very accurate weapon. Second one here is going to be with the rapid fire and range attachments. Start out with hip fire. You can see it's got a pretty good cone of fire as far as the hip fire goes. And then we'll go ahead and shoot over to the aiming down the sight. Um, you can see it does have an upward spray, so you definitely want to be aiming uh, towards the the chest area um, and burst firing. Obviously, uh, does. It does shoot a lot quicker, so it will have a little bit of an upward spray. But um, if you are, you know, obviously you want to compens compensate for the kick with your uh, your personal aim. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the gameplay here. We've got uh, Domination on Arkaden, or Arkaden, however you pronounce it. I, I believe it's a uh, German shopping mall is what this is. Um, on, on, this, on this map, basically I'm running uh, range and rapid fire. Ump is one of my favorite... Um, SMGs. I like most of the SMGs. There's a couple I don't really care for, but uh, I do lean toward using the ump quite often. It is a great weapon. I have thousands of kills with it. Um, it is a lightweight weapon. I love the iron sights on it. They're small, compact, um, and it really is a good representation of the weapon. Um, it does have a decent range as well. For uh, a, a submachine gun, it does seem to have decent range. You just need to burst fire a little bit more. Um, the atta attachments I will typically suggest that you use for um, the vast majority of um, submachine guns is going to be rapid fire and range. That rapid fire gives you that additional kick as far as your first strike bonus, and the range will give you that additional range that you need to uh, be competitive against the assault rifles. Um, so I definitely suggest that you use those. Obviously the proficiency you use is attachments so that you can use the rapid fire and range. Now jumping into the ratings. For the ump, I give the power. Uh, we'll have the four different categories. We have power, accuracy, and reliability. Obviously, the accuracy for all different types when you're aiming down the sight, hip fire, different ranges and whatnot. Power is the amount of output of damage it will do. And then uh, the movement is how much of this does the weapon that you're wielding encumber your movement? How fast are you going to be able to move? Um, all that good stuff. And then your first strike, that's going to be when you're coming to toe-to-toe -to -toe with an opponent, you know, how often are you going to be able to win that if you're both rushing at each other um, and you're in a close quarter combat situation. Um, so for the ump, for power, I give it a three. Um, decent, decent amount of power output, and it does uh, maintain even at uh, longer distances, especially for an SMG. Accuracy and reliability, I give it a four. Um, it is a pretty accurate weapon, especially if you burst fire. Um, even just, you know, full-on spraying non-stop, it still stays pretty accurate. So definitely a very accurate and reliable weapon. Movement, it is a lightweight SMG. You have plenty of movement to run and gun and uh, jump across the battlefield. Definitely a, uh, definitely a forward-moving weapon, in my opinion, but you can kind of use it for different situations. And for first strike, with the high rate of fire, and especially if you use the rapid-fire attachment, I give it a 4 for an overall of 15 points, one of the better um, SMGs and probably one of the best weapons in the game. Um, for game types, I suggest this weapon for all game types. Um, you might want to switch it up if you're you're using a, a really long, if you're playing on a really long range map, you want to might want to switch it up uh, to an assault rifle, but. For the vast majority of gameplays and maps, this is going to be a great um, weapon for you. Player skill level. This weapon is fairly easy to use right out of the box. Um, beginning players might have a little bit more trouble with it because when you do first start using it, you do have to compensate for the kick with your own personal aiming skills because um, sometimes it will kick quite a bit. Um, so you usually want to aim a little bit lower and compensate for the amount of kick it's going to have, but you will get a lot of headshots with these, this if you use, uh, if you do aim a little bit lower center mass, and uh, you'll get a lot of kick headshots on this one as well, uh, view kick headshots. Um, so the player skill, you know, I do break it up into three categories: beginning, being brand new to the game, or first-person shooters in general. 
um, average, which would be, in my opinion, the majority of Call of Duty players, you know, uh, average player. Not too good, but not too bad. And then you'll have your good players. Um, good players will just totally dominate with this weapon. Um, it is, you know, in my opinion, it is the weapon of choice for a lot of good players that I know and I personally play with. Um, I prefer to use this weapon quite a bit myself. Um, and then the average player will also have some good... Uh, good success with this weapon as well just because it is very reliable um, and does have a nice high rate of fire. Uh, player types, I would say that this is going to be a moderate to aggressive uh, player type. Uh, I break this up in three different categories. You have your defensive or your camper. Um, those are the people that are defending flags and whatnot. Don't necessarily know if it's going to be the best for that, although it can be used by a good defensive player in that situation. Um, but I suggest more of a moderate to aggressive play style with this weapon. Um, if you're aggressive, you'll do really well with this, and if you're a moderate player, you'll probably do even better, just because uh, high rate of fire, and if you're a little bit more stick and move and a little bit more mobile, you are going to do well with this weapon. Um, class setup for this, you know, I, I mean, I keep going over these class setups, and I don't find that there's a lot of difference between the class setups you want to use between the assault rifles and the submachine guns. Um, I keep trying to go over different... Uh, different categories and whatnot in my head but for this this one I, I definitely suggest sleight of hand you're gonna be in uh, multiple reload situations with this one and we'll give you that edge over your opponent um, I suggest quick draw with this if you're being aggressive if you're not being as aggressive possibly use assassin or hardline and of course I highly highly recommend it suggest you use stalker for this weapon um, you do need that additional um, you know, strafing speed and uh, movement while you are aiming down the sights. Um, as you can see, I, I typically stick and move when I am playing. I'm not not really staying in one spot a whole lot, and when I am firing, I'm, I'm typically strafing. Um, it makes it harder for your opponent to uh, gauge where you're going to be, and it also gives you a little bit more uh, mobility as far as what you're going to do as well. Um, so to give you a recap, the Ump 45, highly mobile, good damage. It's an overall excellent weapon, has a nice and high rate of fire. Um, it does have decent damage as far as the range, but it will drop off towards longer range like most of the SMGs. I really enjoy the iron sights, no need for any type of uh, aim assistance here as far as a red dot or holographic, any of that nonsense. And um, But the, the one downside of this is it does have a little bit of a higher recoil as far as um, your recoil jumping up and uh, getting in the way of your view but you can compensate for it um, by aiming a little bit lower and uh, using that upward recoil to get those headshots as you'll see that I do quite often here um, I do have several I, I do have several hundred headshots with this weapon and uh, I have several thousand kills with this weapon probably one of the best SMGs and if not one of the best guns in the, in the game so I'll go ahead and finish up this gameplay only a couple more minutes left but I just wanted to say, uh, once again, uh, thank you for all of the continued support. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate the subscribing to our channel. If you do enjoy our videos and you have not yet subscribed, please do. Um, it does mean a lot to us and does help us move forward in the future with this channel. Um, we are going to continue doing these reviews until we have uh, completed every weapon in the game. Um, working on them constantly. want to make sure I'm creating a... Uh, useful and entertaining time. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching. We appreciate all the support. And until next time, the Masked Gamer is out.